that gonna work out. So I'll serve to see the video short short spurt. For practice. Punch forward. Punch forward. Alright, you got the you throw the shoulders into it. Alright. You got the wing wing punches. Use your uh, shoulders into it. Along the neck area. Here, it's facing you. Get the side, throw most of your thrust from your shoulder. Same with the other hand. Hand up, throw it in your face. Sometimes I'll throw it down. Now, you get used to either throwing it up, throw it down. Wherever need be, the other hand's got to be. Vertical. I'm moving up and down with it. Are you throwing horizontal thrust? I power throws as much power into it as you can. Practice technique first, and then add power to it as you go. Now, if you get your hand back, so your hand don't grab as good. Okay? And on the back, get your, get your shoulders. And keep them other hand out like this. And I'm hitting. Now you can double punch, or you can lean back a little bit and punch like that. Or you can come up like that. But you're leaning back a little further. But usually, if you central it, you just have to move back a little bit to get like that. And you can even step forward if you have to. Same with the other hand. Like that. Like that. Or double. You'll find when you do that one that you want to make three or four strikes. It'll just feel natural to make three or four strikes when you you'll hit twice or three times. Okay. Again. Alright, I'm gonna get a good angle on this here. See, so I can get in this angle here. So, you wanna practice, you've got a weak leg, you're kicking weak, you wanna practice that leg and bring it up to the, the level of your good leg. So, you want both your legs to be equally strong with your kicks, you can measure that. Yeah. So, it's a full snap kick, toes out, toes toes up, not out, toes up, toes up on your forward kicks, crest kicks, roundhouse, you want your toes out, like that, yeah, you want your toes like that, so you're slapping with the back of your leg, okay, so, you know, after you're doing it a while, it'll automatically come to you, because if you don't need it right, you're going to get some fucked up feet, excuse my language. So, kick straight in. Yeah, kick with your heel if you can. Use a lot of that power in your heel. And kind of thrust your hip into it. Get the last couple inches of thrust out of it. When you hit it, and then push. You mark. You mark with your. Yeah, stay balanced. Keep your hands level, balanced. Use the one hand out. If you kick with it right, it's probably going to be right hand. It's going to be like this. And I'll keep your balance. Keep your hands like this. Three. Same with the other hand. It's a big kick. Back speech is here. Coming around. I'm just turning. Basically, I'm just spinning around. Now, there's several ways to do this. And every style is a little different. 
But uh, everybody get your own style, work on your own, just like he said, work on your own thing. Step around. Alright. At least you know where that heel is going. Now, if you break some boards or break something and hit your mark pretty much and bust them, you know, after you do about 10,000 of these, you'll, you'll get your mark pretty well and you'll hit it solid. Usually your heel hit it. I mean, you hit somebody with that, it's going it's to hurt them. A lot of thrusting and kicks. You know, everybody got a different amount of kick power. Everybody a little different. You know. Yeah, I hit him right in here. See, he could have been stepping back, and I'd have still hit him with my heel. You know. Yeah. See, I turn back around fast. So you see when see him again. If I'm spinning, and he's low and high, and turn back around. Because if I follow through, if I follow through, I gotta be ready to make some kind of a strike. You know, if I follow like that, it, it, it's more likely that unless I miss. Now, if I miss, I'm gonna come around like this, and then I'm gonna be able, to, gotta be able to strike with a, uh, you know, you can strike with that same leg, just make a forward thrust kick or, or, or a side kick. Or a roundhouse, you know, whatever. Whatever. Whatever looks open to you. You know? If he's taking a shot at you, a left handed shot, or if he's taking a right shot at you, with his right hand, and you spun around like that, you know, he'll have a throw on you because you missed. You know what I mean? So look, you come around, miss him. He like, might take a throw on you. That's the time to strike him. So I think there, the rib cage. But more likely, he's gonna throw on you in it. We're taking, we're taking forward. Yeah. All right. I gotta patch this bag up. I'm getting a couple more of my holes in it. And the more tape I add to it, the harder it gets. More like an MMA bag every day. The truth is, there's an MMA bag in here. And it is hard, no. It's just not as hard, as hard as I was using at the beginning of it. Because that bag hurts you. That bag is hard. And this is much harder than what's in class. Trust me on that. Alright.